Good morning and welcome to this webcast about Link and PowerPoint presentations, the Toy of Office Web App Server Preview. My name is Sandra and I will be the English dubber for this presentation made by Fabrizio Volpe, Microsoft MVP on Directory Services. The agenda is focused on a little introduction to Office Web Apps, its requirements and how Link Server 2013 uses Office Web App Server Preview for viewing PowerPoint broadcasts. We will see a short demo of Link 2010 and Link 2013 managing a PowerPoint presentation. Then we will go to the actual installation. Before you are able to launch the Office Web App Setup, you will need the above prerequisites. I will be working on a Windows 2008 or 2 server. On Windows Server 2012, requirements are different. From Plan Office Web App Server Preview, Office Web App Server Preview runs on one or more servers and provides browser-based Office file viewing and editing to multiple hosts throughout your organization. The servers or virtual machine instances that run Office Web App Server Preview must be configured identically and run a specific list of roles and services. Experts from Overview of Office Web App Server Preview for users running Microsoft Link 2010, PowerPoint presentations were displayed using an embedded copy of the PowerPoint viewer. For users running Link Web App, PowerPoint presentations were converted to dynamic HTM files, customized DHTM files, and Microsoft Silverlight. However, some limits are that the embedded PowerPoint viewer is only available on the Windows platform. Many mobile devices do not support Silverlight. Neither the PowerPoint viewer nor the DHTML Silverlight approach supports all the features, including slide transitions and embedded video. Found in the more recent editions of PowerPoint. Link Server 2013 uses Office Web Applications and the Office Web App Server to handle PowerPoint presentations. Among other advantages, this new approach enables higher resolution displays, additional mobile de devices to access these presentations, users are available to scroll through a PowerPoint presentation independent of what the presenter is showing in a given moment. Office Web App Server Preview supports two primary installation scenarios, a single server Office Web Apps, server farm, and a multi-server load balances. Office Web App Server Farm, you can use physical servers or virtual machine instances to run Office Web App Server Preview, but you can't install other server applications. As usual, I will try to cut the parts of the installation in which you are only looking at the different set of files running. The full Deploy Office Web App Server Preview document from Microsoft is available at the following link. 
If you work on Windows 2012, simply upon the Windows PowerShell prompt as an administrator and run the commands to install the required roles and services. for Windows Server 2008 R2. Import Modal Server Manager. And then run the PowerShell command that installs the required roles and services. Again, you can copy and paste it from the above documentation. I am working on a lab environment, so I will not change the default path. You will have to import the Office Web Application module into Windows PowerShell for all servers that will run Office Web App Server Preview. To do so, open the Windows PowerShell prompt, Import mod Module Office Web Apps. The Import module loads the Office Web Server CMD Let's into your instance of Windows PowerShell. To verify that the CMD Let's were loaded, get commanded Office. A list of all CMD lets in the Office Web Apps module is displayed. To get help with any of the CMD lets, get help CMD let name. The code in the screen creates a new Office Web App Server farm that consists of a single server. Take a look at the following article if you want to interact with Link 2013, as you can see below. I have developed a certificate from an internal CA, friendly name Web App, because for Link 2013 to talk with Office Web Apps is mandatory to use HTTPS. To verify that the Office Web App Server farm was created successfully, launch the URL. If Office Web App Server Preview works as expected, you should see a Web App Open Platform interface. Discovery XML file in your web browser. This is the end of this webcast and thank you for your kind attention.